from the time the pitch crosses mm. the plate to the time he has to be back in the box. Here's a long drive deep left field. That goes Soler near the wall. It's out of here. Mark Canna gives the Mets the lead with his sixth home run of the year. The Mets have gone deep twice against Alcantara, and the Mets lead it two to one in the fifth. Well, Mark fell behind in the count 0 and 2, worked his way back even, and he takes Alcantara deep. Canna reaches out down the right field line. That's a base hit. McNeil scores. Nito scores. Nimmo's getting a late stop sign. He'll go back to third. But Mark Canna has a two run double, and the Mets have put up three here in the top of the second. That's lined over short. Base hit in the left center. Nimmo is in. Lindor right behind him. McNeil goes to third. Mark Canna with a two run single to get the Mets on the board early. And the Mets able to cash in a couple of those walks. Canna with his 10th and 11th runs batted in, and it's 2 0 New York. 2 1, sharp shot. It's a fair ball. They're going to have Cole Calhoun to field this one. Lindor gets the wave around the throw to third is short. And the Mets tie this one up. City Field is rocking. And Hannah, you were dead on. He loves hitting with runners in scoring position. Canna getting ahead out on that sinker. And great base running by the Mets right here. And that's just inside the line. Eighth pitch of the back coming to Canna with Beatty on deck. McNeil not going. And Canna drives one to deep left field. Back goes Grossman to the warning track at the wall. It's out of here. Mark Canna ties the game with a two-run homer. What a big blast for Canna. His biggest hit is a Met, a two run shot to tie the game against Max Fried. A great at bat, his second extra base hit of the night, his eighth home run of the year, and it's two to two in the fifth. Huge, huge hit. And what an, what an at bat. Canna hits one out to right center field. Back goes Kane to the warning track at the wall. Two-run homer to tie the game. Canna installed in the leadoff spot tonight. His fifth home run of the year, and the Mets have come from three runs down to tie it four to four. I don't believe we've seen Canna hit a ball to the right of center field like that. I don't believe we have. That was well struck. That's drilled down the left field line by Canna, headed back toward the corner. It's out of here. Mark Canna lines a three-run homer and gets the Mets off to a fast start on closing day. It's 3-0 New York. Number 13 for Canna. For well, Gary, all season long, we've seen Mark, and there's a little box up and in that he covers, and when he covers that, that's his home run pitch. He has no fear. And he gets on the first one, hits it deep to left, back toward the corner, right near the wall, and it's out of here! Mark Canna ties the game with a three-run homer! What a road trip for Mark Canna. Huge series in Atlanta, and now he hits a three-run homer to get the Mets even in the seventh inning. And Canna pulls one. Pat McMahon down the line. Rough around third. He'll score. McNeil being waved around third. And he will score without a throw when the game is tied. Mark Canna comes through again. A big two-run double to get the Mets even in the eighth. He just ripped his back. I know the game has changed. You've got to guard the line. No doubles here. McNeil can't score. Right that, but actually, if they're guarding the line, it's not a double in the corner. It's a base hit to his left. McNeil can't score. <laughs> 2 2. Fly ball left field. Back goes Maton looking up at the wall, and it's out of here! Mark Canna gives the Mets the lead with his second home run of the day. Unbelievable. Canna ties it in the seventh, gives the Mets the lead in the ninth. It's 9-8 to eight New York.